like to show you how TLM plugin uh, extension for Redux works. At the moment you see TEM options and if we refresh a page, pop up window appear asking your customer to register and it has six days trial period. This trial period you can set in your uh, extension settings. It may be zero or more or less. Okay, once we click, uh, after if 60 days trial period ex expire, we hide these options by CSS. So customer don't have access to term options until he registered. He only see license uh, tab. And let's do it again. Let's say your customer open term options first time and see this pop up. He click. He can click remind later or register now. If click register now, yes, <coughs> a field where we should enter purchase code and what of purchase code. Please and get and what of purchase code. Enter and then save button and register. The purchase code is wrong, right? As you see, it's JavaScript. Save again and register. It says wrong again. Let me double check. Right, it was wrong. Save and register. Dear username, the term was successfully activated. Thank you. Okay, so no more pop up appear after registration done. And we check our database, it's not customer database, it's our database and refreshed and we see new record here, purchase code, domain, where the term used, email address of the uh, email address of the admin, which set in WordPress and what username and date of registration, date of purchase. And here last field is removed. What is this field is for? In case a customer want to deregister this purchase code to use in another domain name, you click deregister and this value change it to one. Okay. So let's register again, we save, register code successfully and we refreshed and as you see we come active again and we can register and register unlimited times. Beside this uh, you can have set in your server side special registration code, let's say you set one, two, three, four, five or anything in that code and for developer mode so you can run this in your own websites. Also also this license registration requirements doesn't appear in localhost does that appear in localhost so to prevent development process on local machine it only appear on the real domain names that's it the rest you can find in documentation how to integrate and configure the extension in the reduced framework thank you for your attention